Well, good morning again, Mana Church. I'm Jeff Christensen. Uh, Welcome to part three of this week's Morning Mana. We are talking about what do you see in the mirror? And so this is all about change and growth in Christ, sanctification. Um, It's always everyone's favorite subject. (laughs) We've been talking this week so far um, uh, 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 and taking time to kind of lay a foundation for this subject because Sanctification is not something we do in ourselves. Um, We can't change ourselves. It has to be empowered from outside of us. So ultimately, it's God who is behind our change. It's the Holy Spirit working in us. And this means something very significant for us. It's kind of our takeaway for the day. It means this, you are God's problem. You can't change yourself. So you're his problem. He's the one who has to complete his work in you, as we said yesterday in Philippians chapter one, verse six. This is good news, isn't it? I mean, it means that the pressure's off of us. Now, I'm not saying that that this means we don't have to, um, that we don't have to change. We do have to change. And, And it doesn't mean that you don't play any role in it at all, because you do play a role. Um, we play a role in our own change in that we need to cooperate with God. You need to cooperate with God as he works in you. And you need to let him have his way in your life. But ultimately, he's the one who who's bringing the change to you. Again, remember, we started out in 2 Corinthians 3.18 a couple of days ago. And the end of that verse says, For this comes from the Lord, who is the Spirit. It comes from him. He's the one doing it. You are God's problem. So don't try to fix yourself. And and it's it's not, it's really, it's about changing the way we think. Stop thinking that way. Stop thinking I've got to fix myself. Instead, acknowledge that he is changing you. He is. And just determine to let him have his way and cooperate with the Holy Spirit in your life. Let him work in you and be at peace. It's good to be with you today, Man of Church. Come back tomorrow for part four.